here it is, the moment we have all been waiting for. And by all of us, I mean me. I got a text message from Ollie around 11 yesterday that was nothing but screaming about red versus blue. I got like eight messages that were like, you have to watch this right now, but I was out of town. I didn't have the data to watch it. I didn't want to watch it on my phone. I didn't want to not record this because we got so much hype from Ollie. I wanted to be able to look back on this video with sentiment. <laughs> so uh, it is season 14, um, episode four, I think, three or four. Uh, it's why they are here. All I know about this episode is that apparently some of Ollie's Fan theories were confirmed. I saw something about an agent Hawaii, which I really hope that's what I think it is because if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna cry. And then some stuff about Caboose because Ollie really only cares about Caboose. So I'm freaking out. I just got up. I have, I, this is my last day to work on con things. So I'm dying, but you know what? Here we go. <coughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Gotta start speaking into the mic now. Oh man, it's the music! Ah. Oh. I want you to know how brave you are for volunteering for this mission. You certainly have more guts than most of your peers, my good sir. You're the final piece in a very complicated little operation. In fact, you're the most important part, I'd say. When the history of these important events is written, you'll go down as the unsung hero. The soldier who sacrificed so much for his fellow man. It brings a tear to my eye just thinking about it, soldier. The world will is never forget body? Private Jimmy. Private? Gosh, you know, I just want to help out in any way I can. My girl back home always said, you're not worth a darn if you just stand by without helping your fellow man. Well, you're most certainly Is this that. church's well, body that he inhabited? Sit right there while these two gentlemen take care of everything. Uh, okay. Sure thing. Prepare him for AI implantation. <gasps> AI what? Yes. Ah, what are you doing? Let's go! Ah, that's not physically possible! Oh my god. <laughs> yes, the physically possible meme. I'm so glad that's a thing again. Flowers? Radio check. One. Can you read me? Vic? Hello. Yes, Vic. hello. This is Vic. Transmitting from simulation outpost. Ah, uh -uh. remember, you're Vic from command. Yes. Apologies, Agent Florida. I will be sure to modify my greeting in the future. Vic! The, the first Vic! Operation? Indeed I am. You can inform the director that I've assembled both red and blue teams for Blood Gulch Outposts 1 and Alpha. Everything is looking handy. Let me tell you, nothing short of an aspirin overdose will stop this plan from succeeding. Excellent news. All right, then. <laughs> nothing can stop them except for exotic nuts and aspirin. The alpha. If our theories are correct, the alpha will gain full control over the host body it assumes to be its own. Odds of memory contamination from the host mind are very slim. That is fantastic news. And it says here in the important notes section that you need to make sure the alpha has no recollection of the events concerning Project Freelancer. Nothing about the other fragments, nothing about the crash, and absolutely nothing about the med. Understood. It yes. also says not to put the Alpha in any immediate danger as, quote, It is unknown how severe injury or death may affect the host body <laughs> relationship. Good luck with that. <laughs> I wasn't planning on any of my men dying. That would just be poor leadership on <laughs> my part. That is all for the command director. Yikes. Florida. Even mine. Not only am I here to provide false direction for the simulation troopers, I am also programmed to assist you in monitoring and managing this operation. If you need anything else, let me know, and I will contact command. Well, that sounds handy. Thank you, Vic. Oh, there's one more note here. It also says to make sure that you have a great day, Captain. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. Now, it's time to begin. Oh, God, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I really don't. Private group. Send the order for our new jeep? Uh, yes! Probably? He took a nap in the middle of filing the paperwork, but I finished it for him, sir. <coughs> I didn't order you to do that, Simmons! Both of you drop right now and give me 20! 20 what? 20 more minutes? You're not making any sense. No, push-ups. <laughs> why would he punish you with a nap? I don't know why he's punishing me at all. You're the one that took matters into his own hands. You know, Sergeant, I'd be careful with this guy if I were you. He seems like a bit of a loose cannon. Oh my me, god, the loose cannon. Entirely genuine, Private. Who, me? Nah. I just want to make sure we establish a good working relationship. Oh my god, Griff, no. Griff, no, please. Love yourself. Hello? 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 Can you hear me, Private?
private? Uh, yeah. Private. What? Where am I? Easy there, son. It's me, your good friend and mentor, Captain Butch Flowers. There was an accident. You seem to have lost some of your memory. An accident? What, what, what happened? There Are they fucking the well while you were sleeping you him? Hit your head. Oh, tell me. Do you remember your name? Uh, my name? Uh, my name is Leonard Church. It is indeed. Ooh. What's the last thing you remember? Ooh. I, don't know. I remember that there was the snow and there was fighting. Interesting. Interesting. Go on. Yeah, my, uh, and my girlfriend Tex was there, and she was fighting... I guess she was fighting someone. Is that so? And who was Tex fighting? Oh, it was, um... Yeah, I don't know. I... Oh, my God. Don't Private fuck. Jimmy! That's right! Don't Poor fucking Private shoot Jimmy. him! You've certainly mentioned him before. Yeah, I remember someone named Private Jimmy, but... I don't know. It, it was weird. She was... Beating him to death with his own skull? Well, that doesn't seem <laughs> <laughs> that you remember, then why question it? Just be sure to let me know whenever more memories start falling into place. We want to be sure to get our, I mean, <sighs> your story straight. Uh, yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. So what's with this armor? We're fighting someone, right? Hello? Oh, hey, Captain. Ah, Private Tucker! Tucker, our newest recruit. I'd like you to meet your comrade, Private Church. Comrade, don't be comrade. No. I don't like you. Come on now, friends. We're a team. Teams have to work together. So how about we go on a little scouting mission? Oh, really? boy. I mean, sounds like I just woke up from a traumatic head injury. You sure that's a good idea? Hey, <laughs> it's a cool armor color, and I'm stuck with blue. What? I'm just saying. No one's going to take me seriously. I look like a fucking Teletubby. Captain Flowers, is it possible? does look like a Teletubby, actually. It's not likely. Well, there's no harm in trying. <laughs> Flowers has the sniper rifle. Pretty nice looking sniper rifle. It just it just seems wrong having anyone in that color armor carrying it, honestly. on a scouting mission like this again? I'll let you do the honors. Awesome! So what are the reds doing? Oh, you can be sure that whatever it is they're talking about down there, it's absolutely diabolical. No. Come on, Simmons, don't be a buzzkill. Don't do it, don't kill my buzz. For the last time, I don't want to go. But dude, the Vegas Quadrant is only three parsecs from here. We can they want to go to the Vegas. Uh, savings. We kill a hooker or two. And we wait, what? Here before Sarge even notices that we're gone. I'm kill a hooker? What? Quadrant. Don't talk about the Quadrant. Griff, Simmons. Ah, oh, shit. There goes our chance. <laughs> I told you two to clean this place up. There are grenades and guns lying around everywhere. Sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Private Griff was just distracting me from my duties. Is this true, Griff? Actually, Simmons was distracting me with some Ooh, plot twist. Team to sneak away to the Vegas quadrant before you came to check on us. <laughs> I was about to report it to you. What? My God, Simmons, how could you? I was holding your rations for the rest of the day. And thank you, Private Griff, for reporting this incident. Oh, you, sir, or Private Griff, his ass doesn't have the same ring to it. Private Simmons is going to be needing it. <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh, keep up the good work, Griff. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. <laughs> get back to cleaning, Simmons. I don't want to harm your back's ass. Oh my god. I can't fucking believe you. Look, I'm not going to apologize for conjuring an extra meal out of disobeying a direct order. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to go to the Vegas Quadrant. God damn it! <laughs> I think it's safe to say they're still getting their base in order. No yeah, that's, that's so, an understatement. Plan of attack? attack? Oh no. No need to incite conflict, Private Church. It's best to keep you out of harm's way for the time being. You're in a war. Right, Captain Flowers? Yes, whatever you say, war. Private Tucker. I'm very pleased with how all of this is coming together. Oh boy. I think everything is going to work out. Flowers, he flirtatious, manipulated a bastard. Oh god, is this the part with... Uh, why is he just turned away talking like that? Dude, I have no idea. This is the weirdest day from waking up from a coma ever. <laughs> Ooh. That's Freelancer music. That is Freelancer music, ladies and gentlemen. I have some concerns. Greetings, Agent Florida, and welcome back. Do you have anything to report? Only that things are better than a cool glass to lemonade on a hot July afternoon, Vic. This quote-unquote war will be a stalemate for quite some time. Oh boy. Maybe up to 14 seasons. If 14 we're... seasons? <laughs> oh, I, I prefer to think of the passage of time in terms of the four seasons as opposed to the standard Gregorian calendar. So we're, we're too aware. Ah, we we're too, they're too Would aware. Like me to go over the fail-safe protocol that we have established? Show me the list, please. 
Here is the prioritized list of freelancer personnel to be sent Okay, freelancer roster for replacements and reinforcements in Blood Gulch Outpost Alpha. Each of these soldiers are California, Hawaii, Kansas, Montana. Well, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but get back to fiddlesticks. Fucking I, kn I was gonna bring up the extension cord. I really was. I was gonna bring it up because it was seemed very conspicuous. Gosh, must have slipped on a wet spot on the floor. Vic, could you please do me a favor and put in a request to command for some wet floor signs? You never can be too careful. Just get a towel. Remember, you need anything, you just give your boy Vic a call. I'll be sure to do just that. Farewell, Vic. So, I'm dying to die. Okay, Montana and Oregon. <gasps> I knew it! I knew it! Well, I knew it! I knew it! Wait, Donut? Donut was a... What? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dying inside. I am actually dying inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, apparently, the theory that I am in full support of turned out to be canon. In that Kaikana Griff is in fact Agent Hawaii. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> this just makes all of the interactions between her and Wash so much more hilarious because it's just like, keep it down out there. It's like, cop! Just that constant. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't know what Ollie was talking about with Caboose, but. Oh god, this is all I could have hoped for. <laughs> oh my god. I really hope this recorded properly because I cannot duplicate this reaction again. <laughs> they were in freelancers the whole time. Okay, I need to look at the roster again. I can't not look at the roster. Because I think Donut was Kansas, right? Uh... Point I'm trying to make, dude. I got a really good feeling about this whole blood gulch. Okay, so Caboose, Donut, and Griff were all freelancers. All of them. And then there's Jenkins, who is actually mentioned in season nine, I believe, in the whole fight scene with South and North, uh, the infiltration, Hellas can escape that one, because they were taught. I just saw this yesterday. That's the only reason I know it. I swear, but. Because they were talking, it's like, you know who gets fucking, like, this duty? Jenkins. Jenkins gets this. Fucking Jenkins, man. Oh, okay, I gotta figure out what states they were, because I'm dying inside. I am dying. I'm legitimately dying. Oh, no, don't fucking... Oh, Andrew Smith! Oh, my God. If Andrew Smith is another one, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose it. Was it? No, no, but, like, okay. Uh, okay, California. Ah, I'm so close to pausing it right where I need to. Ah, fuck me. Okay. Okay, there it is. Show me the list. Okay. Alright, so Agent California, Agent Hawaii, Agent Kansas... Agent Montana and Agent Oregon. So Agent Oregon was a was Andrew Smith. California was Caboose. Hawaii was uh was Kai, and then Kansas was Donut. Wait, but Donut's from Iowa. Oh my God! If it's because he's not in Kansas anymore, I'm going to. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I needed motivation to work on my cosplay today, and this this suffices. I can't believe. Caboose. Caboose is a freelancer. I was so focused on Kai, I didn't even realize it was Caboose until it was too late. 
<laughs> I'm just shrieking like an animal. I'm sorry. This cannot be entertaining to watch in any manner, but. <laughs> oh, the urge to cosplay Kai again is strong. It is so strong. So. <laughs> I feel like I need to watch this a couple more times just to make sure I, like, truly understand what happened. Am I the only one thinking this right now? Because... <sighs> For starters, let's, let's look at things that were revealed here. Griff and Sarge were once sort of friends. Uh, which, again, Private Griff's resident kiss-ass doesn't have the same ring as Private Simmons' resident kiss-ass. Although it's certainly easier to say. Um... They told Church that he had memory loss. So, is he in the bo body of Private Jimmy? Because like, I think that's what it made it sound like. But beaten to death with his own skull. So yeah, okay. So, Church is in the body of a guy named Private Jimmy. Who has a girlfriend back home. Who's not going home because he's fucking dead. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Morning breath, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... <laughs> So, unfortunately, Tex did not beat Amanda to death with his own skull, which is kind of sad. That was on my bucket list. Beat someone to death with their own skull. It's the way to do it. <laughs> um, so that's who that is. Flowers is a lot more twisted than we originally thought, because like, the first couple of times you see him, it's just like, have a good day, guys. Exotic nuts and aspirin. Take care of yourselves. You can call me daddy. That That's Flowers. That is who we thought Flowers was. And then this is this whole other side of Flowers that is just... Ah, they're perfect. Don't worry, Jimmy. You'll see your girlfriend again. It's just... The manipulation involved in Project Freelancer, while it is really, really messed up, brings me such joy as, an, as a writer. It makes me happy. And it's entertaining to watch. So... <laughs> All of my reservations about the season are gone now. <laughs> like, they were mostly gone by the last couple episodes. Now they're really gone. Because, Kai. I want, I want them to bring Sister back. I love her. It's fantastic. Just, Kai Connor Griff is a gift to mankind, okay? Oh my god, was that why she didn't die? Was that why she didn't die all those times? She didn't die all those times because she was a freelancer. And freelancers practically can't die. She wasn't just ridiculously lucky. <laughs> It all makes sense, and I feel like I'm having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh. oh. It was too early for me to watch this this morning. <laughs> okay, but Caboose, that explains- he was this wide-eyed idealist because he joined Project Freelancer and he didn't make, like, that final project- Project Freelancer cut with all the AI implementation where all the main manipulation was happening. So he was still more or less wide-eyed and idealistic. And then after all the AI, it just kind of like went downhill for him, man. I want to hug him. I want to hug like a 30-something-year-old space marine. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to... I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I want to draw fan art, but I have gone in three days, so... Um, <laughs> so I think that's all I really have to say on this, except that my mind is blown. My mind is really, really blown, and I don't know what to do about it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I have to get to work, but as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. We've actually been getting a lot of subscribers and a lot of likes and a lot of views lately, which is kind of surprising. We normally get like, you know, 15 on a stream or something like that, but on my reaction videos we've been getting like 200, 300 views, which is really surreal. I uh, never actually thought we'd make it this far, which sounds horrible, but I mean, we started out putting AMVs up around Christmas time just because I needed to practice with Premiere and didn't want to just keep them on my computer because it was taking up space, so... <laughs> It, it's kind of nice. It's also really nice to be able to interact with the community more and make something that isn't just through art or cosplay. Because while those are my main hand gest hand gestures, the way I normally do things, it's it's kind of nice to do it a different way. And it's really strange that you guys actually enjoy my reactions because most of the time I'm just quiet because I want to hear what's going on. I don't want to speak. So I just end up sitting there like, 
for 10 minutes, which I'm kind of doing now, actually. So thank you guys so much for watching these, commenting, liking, subscribing. I love reading your comments. They're lots of fun. I try to reply to them. If I don't reply, I either... I definitely didn't. I definitely saw it. I just wasn't really sure how to respond. So, or I was really busy and ultimately forgot about it. Uh, mm -hmm. There will be some cosplay tutorials soon. Emily and I are going to start doing reviews of cosplays that we have done in the past that are not so much tutorials, but guidelines for how to do it. Because unfortunately, I don't have the memory to time lapse all of my cosplays. And I usually do them in my pajamas, which no one needs to see. So... <laughs> Yeah, let us know if you want me to react to anything else. I've had a couple suggestions for the Camp Camp trailer, but I haven't had time because I'm going out of town again tomorrow. Um, and there is a convention coming up this Thursday through Sunday. So I'm going to try to have some videos pre-recorded for them to put up, but things may be a little late. Um, there may not be an RVB reaction for next week. I'm really, really going to try to do it, but... As soon as con is over, it is the week of my high school graduation, so my house is going to be full of people, and it's very hard to find time to scream angrily at a computer <laughs> when there won't be people knocking in my room and barging in, knocking in. You know what I mean. So, <laughs> things may be a little spacey, but there will definitely be a video summing up the entire Comic-Con experience that we're going to. It's Phoenix Comic-Con, which is the seventh largest convention in the U.S., I believe. It's lots of fun. It's great. Um, I believe Emily is doing Hana from Asagao Academy. Uh, I think I'm bringing Maya as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, she made, remade Weiss again, which is always fun. <coughs> <coughs> she remade Weiss again. Um, she's redoing Feffery from Homestuck. And then... I think she was going to try to do Sailor and Pluto, but I don't really remember. I just looked at her lineup this morning. I'm a horrible friend. And then I'm doing Sailor Neptune, Agent Carolina Armor, which is up there, because Aaron Zek is going to be there. And for those of you who watch this channel a lot, my name is Aaron, and I actually spell it the same way, so I really just want to get something signed that just says to Aaron from Aaron. <laughs> I feel like it'll be fun. Uh, I'm going as Sailor Neptune, Yang, Raven Branwen, uh, um, Artemis from Young Justice, hopefully. And I know I'm forgetting one. But I don't know which, I'm, which one I'm forgetting. Because I had five costumes. This is not the time for this. I should not be doing this while I'm recording. <laughs> But for the third, like the third time in this video, thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching, commenting, and whatnot. You can always check me out on the Rooster Teeth store as Termia, which I think it's like linked as like a channel down there. But it's pretty easy to find if you Google it. I show up, so <laughs> that's actually really neat, by the way. Um, yeah, if you guys are going to be at Phoenix Comic Con, please hit Emily up. It'd be so cool to meet you guys. I mean, a lot of people watching this are probably just my friends, so you already know me, for which I apologize, but. And there may be some updates about what's going to go on this summer. We're going to try to do more videos, but something may come up. And so I will do my best to keep you guys updated. And until then, I will see you. Well, I won't see you. You will see me. Hopefully next week. And if not next week, then like vlogging at some point. I was complacent guy the whole time. Okay, I'm still not over the Looks like you took a bit of a tumble, my TT field compadre. Gosh, must have slipped on a wet spot on the floor. Vic, could you please do me a favor and put in a request to command for some wet floor signs? You never can be too careful. You got it, diddly dude. Remember, you need anything, you just give your boy Vic a call at fa 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 I'll be sure to do just that. Farewell, Vic.